What's it like, you guys, to be so successful, but to be so young in this business? Let me start with you all. A blessing, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to keep a, um, a good head up in here and still be humble and dealing with a lot of egos in this business, a lot of uh, situations, knowing people, knowing the right people. I mean, it can get crazy and frustrating at some time. It all started off with product GMD. You know, we from Hempstead, Long Island. Me and Dave. You go by the name of Sincere Gubano. I was money on. He was the last people standing. The last two out of four group. Four man group, excuse me. And it was like history in the making from there. We just kept going. streets of Manhattan, we had about two or three meetings. We ran into prize. My boy Al West was supposed to have a session with uh, J-Lo. J-Lo didn't come. Prize wound up, picked up picking up the phone. Said, yo, come through. Little do he know, we at 54th and 9th. He was at the corner of 54th and 10th, Sony Studios. Legendary spot. I saw him, took Dash right to him. He was like, yo, what's up? He brought us in. He heard us, you know what you think? He's like, yo, tough. Call his boy Clef, we didn't know it was Clef at the time. They start speaking that Creole. We didn't know what it was. Two weeks later, we in the studio with him. Three weeks later, we doing a new song called Here We Go, Yo, with Khadijah, from Master Flex. About a year later, we were Carlos Santana. We had a successful record with um, a DJ called Funk Master Flex, and Clef was like, yo, we going to San Francisco. I'm like, for what? We're going to do a song with um, a guy named Carlos Santana. I'm like, okay. He's the god of music and what he does. He's the god of the guitar. With Carlos, I knew all I had to do was show up. So I'm sitting in a room on the piano with these brilliant young men from Long Island and basically, I love the raw talent. When I was sitting playing on the piano, we came up with this song. Went down and freestyled the whole thing. It was like, what you felt was what you got. He plugged up his guitar and then it was over. Being in a group, it's me and my brother, Sincere. You know, we got the product GMB, we were wild clef. Santana, we known as Maria Maria. That sometimes could be a double-edged sword. Mm -hmm. You know, it could be a, sometimes like a cloud or, or a, and a blessing at the same time. A cloud and a blessing, bittersweet. You know, at the time, we moving so fast, we all over the place, so when they say we gonna do a video, Carlos Santana and Wyclef, I'm like, all right, we about to do a video. All right, give me some new clothes, we got a new jam coming. Looking at billboards week after week. Month after month, like number one. It was a great feeling. We did Club Club. You know, we had an album supposed to come out, Jay Records, Clive Davis, the legendary Clive Davis. And it was time for it to come out. And you know, the world wanted GMB, but never got GMB. But it was bittersweet, so, you know, there's a lot of things I can talk about, but I'm thankful for what I have and what I did do, and I'm timeless because of it, you know, so I'm moving forward. Chicken heads gobble gobble, thugs in the dance, no shooting, shooting, shooting. Uh -huh. Touch a lot of people from it. From funerals to weddings, to birthdays, to concerts, to the Royals in England. You know, 
Now I gotta do it for me. It's my turn. This is this is Marvin Moore. This is Money Hall, as y'all know me, Money Hall, you know. Mm -hmm. But I'm Marvin Moore, and I got something to say. We got music for the people now. We're getting up.